An inhibitor is a substance which is added to a chemical reaction or to a solution to either prevent a reaction from happening or to cause that reaction to cease once it has begun. We are familiar, I'm going to put the equation on the board, with the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, decomposes into water plus oxygen. And we balance the equation. This reaction must be generally catalyzed. Although this reaction will take place very slowly uh, in a bottle of drugstore peroxide, an inhibitor is added to slow that process down so that you have a longer shelf life. We know that if we catalyze this, and we see this when we put peroxide on a cut, catalyzed by the hemoglobin or the blood when you have a cut and you get that bubbling action, uh, this is basically produced by the catalyst. And the catalyst in that case is the, uh, are the enzymes and the hemoglobin that are in the blood. Uh, so that what we have very often is iron present. And the catalyst that, is, that we're going to use in this demonstration is the iron ion. The inhibitor that we will use to cause the reaction to cease is the phosphate ion. And we are going to put phosphate into the solution to stop the reaction of the catalyst. So we return to the table. <clears throat> Put on some goggles and some gloves. We're going to start with 30% hydrogen peroxide simply because we get a, a good reaction from it that is very visible. The 30% peroxide going to be put into this beaker. Now, for our catalyst, we're going to use iron nitrate. Iron nitrate, the iron ion, catalyzes the reaction. We're going to add a small quantity to the peroxide. You notice an immediate change, the orange color of the Iron nitrate becomes black because it is catalyzing and forming an intermediate to the reaction. You notice that we immediately, or almost immediately, begin to see the decomposition of the peroxide. The peroxide is evolving oxygen gas. If I take sodium phosphate solution and I add a small quantity of it, you will notice that the reaction slows down very rapidly as the phosphate ions react with the iron ions, causing a precipitate. And you will notice the cloudy yellow precipitate that forms, yellow-brown precipitate that forms on the top uh, of the solution. This inhibitor stops the action of the catalyst from decomposing the peroxide further. Uh, inhibitors are, of course, something that we always have to consider when we are doing labs and demonstrations because they do get in the way uh, of what's supposed to be seen when you're reacting chemicals. Okay, so this is a simple, straightforward demonstration of one of those concepts that very often in the textbook is one paragraph. Uh, and you can demonstrate it so that the students are able to see the term in action and not just memorize uh, a definition for it. And they have a practical working knowledge of what uh, an, an inhibitor does in chemistry.